Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to take custom screenshots on Android. Now for the most part, when you're taking a screenshot, it's because you wanna show off something on your phone. But as it stands, screenshots are pretty boring, and they don't do a great job of showing anything off really. So developer Toast Code created an app that will finally make screenshots do your phone justice by letting you add device frames and custom backgrounds. The app itself is called Screener and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed or you can use the link in my full tutorial. Now when you first launch the app, you'll be greeted by a setup guide. Swipe over to the second page here, then tap the download button to grab a device frame or two. From here, if you're running Marshmallow or higher, tap OK then press allow to give the app the permissions it needs. Next, you'll see a list of many different devices. First, select your manufacturer, then choose your device from the list. After that, press the back button, then tap the floating action button in the bottom right corner to download your device frame. That part will take a few seconds, but when it's done, you'll be taken back to the setup guide. So go ahead and flip through the last few screens here. Now the way the app works is pretty simple. You just take a screenshot like you normally would, but when you want to spice it up a little, just select your device from the main menu. From here, tap the plus button in the middle of the screen, then use this next menu to browse and select the screenshot you'd like to enhance. At this point, you can add a couple of effects like screen glare and drop shadow, and both of those will only take a few seconds to apply. Once you've got that set up, tap the forward arrow to add a background image. From here, tap this first button, then you'll see a file browser menu. One of the best ways to do this in my opinion, especially with screenshots of your home screen, is to just add your wallpaper as the background. It gives it a really nice look. So once you've selected the background image, you can use this next menu to position the final product. Just drag the selection area around until you like the placement, then press done. From there, you can add a bit of blur to the background with a second button, but when you're done with all that, tap the icon in the top right corner, then choose either save or share. As you can see, the end result is much nicer than a boring old screenshot, and it does a great job of showing off your phone in general. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.